Here's your business podcast with Frank Furness. Well, hi, everybody, and welcome to Sales School. And this is Frank Furness, where we're going to help you make more money by mastering sales, dominating marketing, and really being happy. In our next episodes, we're going to be taking a look at how you can dominate your marketing, be found, find the right people you want to, and connect with them. Right, in today's podcast, we're going to be looking at you as the marketing machine, and we're going to be taking a look at blogging and article writing. And this is so important because this builds your brand and also shares your expertise all over the world. So the first thing you've got to do is you've got to write new articles regularly. And I know a lot of you out there saying, hey, listen, I'm in sales. I don't have time to do this. Believe me, make the time to do it because this is what's going to set you apart from your competitors and also show you as the expert in what you're doing. Now, you can find content all over the place. Go and take a look at HubSpot's blog topic generator because you need a really, really good headline Also, use numbers in your headline. You've always seen those great headlines, three best uses, five ways to six biggest things that can go wrong. So get yourself a great, great headline when you write your article. Another place you can go to find some great headlines is title-generator.com or even go to magazine.com. And take a look at some of the titles they're using there, the headlines, and then create a great article. Now, for me, it's normally between one and two pages, normally not too much longer than that, unless I want to go into too much detail, because people don't have the biggest attention span nowadays. Now, let's say you, I just, I can't write articles, I don't know where to start, I don't know where to go. You can actually buy pre-written articles. Just go on to Google and type in private label rights articles and you'll see so many articles that are pre-written that you can buy. Now, some of them are free and uh, these are great, but the problem is, you know, Google only recognizes the original article. So if you put this up there, it's not going to help you at all for search engine optimization. So you've got to change it at least 70%. And the way to do that is to repurpose or re-spin that article. Basically, it means rewriting it in a new way so that Google sees it as being original. If you go to Fiverr.com, F-I-V-E-R-R, you can find people that will spin them for you or repurpose them. You can even buy software that does that. And all of a sudden, you have a new article. Now, what I like to do is I've got some spinning software and it'll spin it into a number of different articles so I can buy one or I can write one and re-spin it into three different versions. And if you do that, the first thing you've got to do is submit your article to your website. It's got to be seen there. The second place is put it onto your blog. Now, I keep my blog separate to my website and I keep it with Blogger, B-L-O-G-G-E-R dot com. And the reason why is I want to be part of the Google family and Google owns Blogger. So are they going to promote their own products? Absolutely. And the best part is it is free. I now take a different article and I now submit that one to LinkedIn, which we're going to be speaking about in one of the next episodes, because that is so important. Once I've got that article up onto my blog with Blogger, I then go to a place called Pingomatic, P-I-N-G-O-M-A-T-I-C, pingomatic.com. And what that'll do for you, it will take your blog and it will share it with every blog engine on the internet. So it's like a free newspaper saying, hey, listen, Frank's just written this new article. Let's share it with the world. As you can see, I'm really into having processes in everything that I do in marketing. So my next step is creating an infographic. I would take that article, turn it into an infographic. And the place you can go to do that is a website called PictoChart. P-I-K-T-O-C-H-A-R-T. PictoChart.com. 
So now we've got great information. What we need to do now is drive traffic to that article or blog. And that's where I use social media. I'll go out to my 5,000 friends on Facebook and say, hey, I've, written, I've just written this great new article. Please go and read it. That drives a ton of traffic there. And by the way, make sure when you're on Blogger that you put in the right kind of keywords so that the Google search engine will find you as well. I'll then also use all of the other social media sites to send traffic to that blog. I'll be promoting it with Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, every other site out there. Basically, you've created great content. You now need to drive traffic to that content. Another thing I would suggest to you is a little thing I use all the time called COPE. Create once, publish everywhere. If you've now written that article, why not turn it into an audio, just like we're doing right now, and put it onto your podcast? Why not turn it into a video and add it to your YouTube channel? And why not add it to Vimeo and all of the other channels as well? And lastly, once you've taken that article and you've written it, go out and submit it to all of the local magazines or the local newspapers. Every one of them is looking for content. Many years ago, I was doing a lot of work in the international offshore financial services industry, and there was a newspaper that went out to 41 countries. And I approached them. I said, uh, will you publish an article? They said, sure spend 10 grand on paying an ad as well. I said, no, I'm not going to do that. I said, here's one of my articles. I think it's pretty good. And one day somebody's going to let you down. It's going to be five minutes before you go to press and you're going to have a blank column. You have my permission to use my article. What about three months later, I got a desperate call. Can we use your article? I said, sure. It went out there and obviously the readers loved it. The newspaper then came back, approached me, and I had a regular column in a newspaper that went out to 41 countries. So you can see the power of writing articles and doing blogging. So please remember to do this on a regular basis and make this part of your sales and marketing strategy. Well, I really hope you enjoyed today's podcast. And remember, if you'd like to book me to speak at your next conference or do some sales training, either in person or via Zoom or remotely, please drop me an email, frank at frankfurness.com. Also, please take a look at my website, frankfurness.com, and take a look at some of my courses on productivitycenter.com. Remember also to connect with me on all of the social media channels. They're all under Frank Furness, especially LinkedIn, where I'm almost up to 30,000 and every day I have some great new ideas and tips on sales, marketing, speaking, and anything that will make you money. Hey, this is Frank. See you in the next episode.